So man, I'll tell you what the three B's are. Beach Body Baddies from Titan Medical Center. That's right. When you hear the three B's, think about Beach Body Baddies from Titan Medical Center. And that's what this is right here. You've got Emily and you've got Melanie just looking phenomenal in these uh, Titan Medical Center bathing suits. A one piece white and a two piece black one. Um, fantastic. And man, they really make them pop. So you know what? It's all about that summer body and having it 24 7 365 right and that's what tight medical center can do for you get your beach body ready and stay beach body ready so when you're ready to go out to the beach or to the pool or just ready to take your clothes off and look in the mirror and look at yourself and say look i want to look amazing then that's when you need to contact us so we can help you get to those goals health and fitness health should be your number one priority for sure because without your health you're not doing anything right but then you got to start leveling up and that's where the fitness comes in and that's where you really start molding and shaping your body to where you want it to be. Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about blood testing panels and the differences, okay? Beware and be warned. There are some things out there that you might not know and you might assume, okay? Now let's talk about what we're gonna get into today, which is blood panels. So here at Titan Medical Center, we offer a full male blood panel and a full female blood panel. Now you may go to somewhere else or see somewhere else and they're advertising a full panel or your general doctor, primary care doctor says, I'm giving you a full blood panel. And what does that mean to you, okay? Because you think, hey, listen, there's a full blood panel and there's a full blood panel. These must be the same, but really they're probably not. And let me explain why. So when we start looking at blood panels, specifically looking at each one of them, okay? So you wanna look at exactly what you're getting, the blood panels. For example, we do a CMP14, which has 14 lab tests in that one panel. We also do a CBC, which is a complete blood cell count. We do uh, progesterone, free and total testosterone, IGF-1 level. We also do a PSA for males. Uh, we have IGF-1 levels, which are growth hormone levels. We do B12 levels. That is generally the male panel, okay? And when I see full male panel advertised somewhere else, it's missing some of these tests. And these can be important tests to uncover some of the issues or problems you may be having, or it's not checking everything that you really need to be safe to possibly go on some of these therapies or treatments, specifically testosterone replacement therapy or hormone replacement therapy. And let me give you an example. So when you're going to go on testosterone replacement therapy, most medical providers are going to want to look at a couple different things or should. Let's talk about what they are. So the first one would obviously be a CMP. So in the CMP, it's a comprehensive metabolic panel. And the main things they're really gonna look at in there are liver and kidneys, okay? And wanna make sure those functions are good. After that, I hope they're gonna do a complete blood cell count. Looking at key factors like hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cell count, white blood cell count, make sure there's no infection, make sure the blood is not thick already because going on an antigen, anabolic steroid like testosterone is, this can thicken the blood and cause you a lot of different health issues like stroke, DVT, blood clots. So you wanna make sure that your health is number one priority because you don't wanna be on blood thinners, okay? So that's another test. For males, a PSA, okay? And for this, they're gonna look at the prostate through the blood and make sure it's not at a higher level marker, over 4.0 usually on reference ranges. With this, you're also gonna look at free and total testosterone. Some places only look at total testosterone. That's gonna do you no good, and let me tell you why. Because if you take a free and total testosterone test, you're looking at the total, which is your reservoir, and you're looking at what's pulling from that reservoir. Okay, you're free, what's getting utilized in the body. If you're only looking at a total testosterone, it could be a good level, and they say, oh, well, you're at a good level, you know, there must be something else wrong. Well, it could be your free testosterone that needs to be fixed. They should also know where your free testosterone is because sometimes I see totals very low, the medical staff does, 
And at that point, they have a great free testosterone. So these are different things that you're gonna to wanna to look at in there. Now these are just some of the tests that they should be covering with your blood panel to make sure that you're good and safe and ready to go properly on hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy, okay? And make sure it's apples to apples testing. Just because a price looks better than one doesn't mean you're getting the exact same thing. So really do your research, get the education, know what you're looking at before you go with a blood panel. Now, if you need a blood panel set up, we service nationwide. And I guarantee we have the lowest price out there that you can possibly find with the most comprehensive panels available. And we offer a lot more than I listed, but I could just keep going on and on and on of what those panels are. So if you want to get a blood panel done by Titan Medical Center and we service nationwide with this, all you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220 and you can sign up for a Titan Medical Center full blood panel that I guarantee is going to have more tests than anybody out there for the price apples to apples. Okay, that's a guarantee from me, John, from Titan. So I hope you guys have got some good information from this. Do your research, get the education. And after that, if you want help, we're here to help you at Titan Medical Center. I'm John from Titan. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks. If you want to feel better, look better, and perform better, call Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com and start your journey in being the best version of yourself today. So what's up guys, John here and I'm in the Titan Lounge and we're here with beautiful Emily and she's rocking the Titan camo sports bra and leggings. But uh, today she's, she's using a Titan fat burning cream. And uh, Titan fat burning cream is awesome. It's prescribed so none of the components or some of the components you can't get over the counter, okay? And it's not gonna burn you when you apply it or anything like that. But what does it really do? So this is what it does. It helps tighten the areas that you apply it to. It also helps shrink the fat cells in those areas too as well, which will create a more aesthetically pleasing area all the way around. And you can use this not only on your abs or your stomach, but you can use this on your arms and your legs. A lot of women like to use it behind their legs if they have cellulite or any, any problematic areas on their body. Guys can use this too, and there's a lot of guys that use this, okay? Even in professional bodybuilding, they were using Preparation H. I'm like, why are you guys using Preparation H, right? I mean, come on, this is hemorrhoid cream. You don't want to use that, right? You want to use something that's specifically designed to do what it's supposed to. And that's what the tight fat burning cream will do for you. So let's get Emily to apply this. And it's really simple. The application, it comes out real easy. It's measured. You can apply it and then you can go on with your day or you can go work out or you can even sleep in it too. And you can apply something there so it doesn't get all over your sheets or your bedding. So guys, let's check out Emily and then she can tell you and give you a full testimony on her experience with the Titan fat burning cream. What's up guys, it's Emily. Um, I just got done using our Titan Fat Burner Cream. A uh, couple little things about it. Super easy applicator. The Toppy Click was so easy to use. Um, they were able to tell me how many clicks for you know the areas I was doing. Um, it soaked in very nicely, nice and creamy. I worked out and I could really feel my skin tightening here with my abs. 10 out of 10 in my books. If you guys have any questions about our Titan Medical Center fat burning cream or any of the other products, uh, give us a call at 727-389-3220. As we get older, it's harder to heal. When you're young and you get injured, it's a lot easier for you to recover and heal yourself. Your body repairs itself a lot simpler when you're younger. It's just a fact. 
As we get older, we know that if we hurt ourselves, it usually takes a lot longer to recover from those injuries. And people injure themselves every single day in every kind of situation you could possibly think of. Whether it's at their job or walking down the street, right? They trip over their feet or some stump in the road. They're at the gym. They hurt themselves lifting or their shoulder, their, their knee, their elbows. All these different things happen. And we might have a lot of inflammation in our body, especially as we get older and we have more injuries and we're dealing more things around us. Inflammation is prevalent in the body, right? So what can we do to go against all these different things? To help heal yourself faster possibly, to help get some of that inflammation out of your body, to improve your quality of life, whether it's your activities or your daily functions. So this is what I'm talking about, TB500. It's a synthetic version of TB4, thymosine beta-4, and it's a peptide. It's generally regarded as safe, so there's really no negative side effects that are going to happen to you, and it can help in a lot of different scenarios, whether it's your joints, your ligaments, any soft tissue areas, and it works by creating new blood vessels to the area to get blood to the area to recover those areas or to help heal. Now, it's not the end-all, be-all of recovery. If you break bones, this isn't going to repair bones. All right, I'm just being honest with you guys. Very transparent and forward. But it's helped a number of different people. And people that were really thinking about getting surgery, this has benefited them tremendously where they have not had to get surgery. We've had excellent patient results with TB500. So, if you're looking to help yourself out with an injury you might have sustained, or you're trying to be preventative about injuries possibly, or you want to increase your flexibility, TB500 may be the therapy for you guys. It's an awesome peptide therapy. I really suggest that you guys look into it. If you guys are hurt, want to recover faster, want to be preventative, or just be healthier overall. So if you guys are looking to improve your quality of life and heal quicker, contact us about TB500. Call or text 727-389-3220. And check out the website, TitanMedicalCenter.com. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are going to give you guys <laughs> great information to hopefully take your relationship to a whole new level. Maybe enhance your relationship, maybe make things better. And you know what? If you're not in a relationship, that's okay too, because you can use some of this information with maybe some of your past experiences to go into a new relationship and take that one to a successful higher level. Do not utilize this information to make a problem in your relationship. Yes. <laughs> I've already heard that a couple times in the episode, like, oh, that's a really good idea. Why have we not done that yet? Oh, Remember? 
remember? Yes, and then yes. she went back to her husband. She's yes. like, you know, I was watching the show and they said this and I want to know why we haven't done that yet. Yes. And it was kind of like awkward. So yeah. I'm like, just use this for positive things. And yes. if you have encountered something that we say and you'd like to apply it to your relationship, yeah. just apply it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, treat it like a newfound treasure, right? Don't don't treat it as something like, oh. How dare you? Yeah, because you know what? Your husband's not going to like me or her because of this. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. Maybe the husband turns around the woman. I don't know how it goes. Yikes. But at that point, listen, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Do like that. a brand new book that you're reading, right? Yeah. At that point, you, you've learned something new in this book and use that information for good and not evil. Yes, these are right? just opinions. Okay? Yes. Opinions. Just opinions. And, well, I don't know. These are true well, facts in some cases. Facts and, for us because we've been, we've been through it. And a lot of experience, yeah. right, from us and people around us that we've learned from too as well because I think it's all a learning experience. But relationships are usually, um, they're original, right? They're, there's usually not two relationships exactly the same. No. Right, because there's different people involved, right? Yeah, uh, and everybody's different. We're like snowflakes, but we're not snowflakes. Oh gosh, ah, uh-huh, I'm do. gonna be in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay out of the cold weather. So, so, uh, you know, when it comes to this, you know, it's you know, our topic for today is, is respecting each other's differences, or and your 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 opinions. Respect your opinions, differences, perceptions. perceptions things that are out there and respect yeah. other people's too as well that's your partner mm-hmm. um so and this could be applied to general audience as well if you want to yeah. say that too this literally um, can be applied to it. you know because two people could look at the and this does happen a lot in mm-hmm. car accidents right you have four different that's witnesses different. that see the exact same car accident and usually there's different details in everybody's uh, story what they tell the officers on the police reports and then they take the general mm-hmm. subject of all and then they they make the assumption of who was wrong who wasn't wrong what really happened here at this this accident or crash site so two people perceive things of the same event maybe differently or sometimes they might see it the same but you don't know this unless you communicate and talk which communication is key in any relationship mm-hmm. out there we talk about key. that too as well key. these are like some core things that you guys need to incorporate daily in you your must life communicate and relationship. please do not turn into a turtle yes yes don't go away don't don't shut down always talk about it and if you need some time to talk that's okay too let your partner know and i think they'll be all right with that in most cases not me <laughs> scenario <laughs> every relationship is different yeah. I mean, this goes for that you know john, if john has an issue i won't even let him get a minute to yeah. even think about it yeah. i'll just harass him until he talks to me about yeah. it and then you know it might come off way worse than it would have if i just gave him like 10 minutes to cool off yes but it's like no talk to me about it now tell me what the problem is why why are you upset tell me now go ahead tell me now 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 he's yeah. like you want me to tell you now? I'm yeah. like, oh, maybe I should have given you. Maybe I should have given you that hour you asked for. Yeah, it. you know, you, you, you sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's good for a little cool period to gather your thoughts and, and come correct and and be more stable and unemotionable or emotional uh, when you're talking to your partner. And that's that's something that you know that you should you need to do. And it's hard because you're running off emotion, in most times mm-hmm. it's passion, it's emotion, and it's hard. To constrain, yes. but with the respect factor, you know, there's there's a good example that me and Sharice were talking about the other day, mm-hmm. and it was just a perception of somebody's profile line, right? Mm-hmm. And the profile line it had uh, a female, and it was, you know, sexually suggestive. I guess you know, bikini shots, covered shots, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, <laughs> in nowadays standards <laughs> out there, it is like an everyday thing, right? Because I control our social media page, and I'm looking at all these different things every day, <laughs> yeah, and. Sure. All the you know Instagram models out there, and he's probably this is probably normalized. It, for him. It's so I'm so desensitized to yeah. these things because of social media, and, and even our TV or, and what we're watching nowadays in movies and stuff like that. You know, before when you were watching a TV show, they couldn't say certain cuss words. Though that's pretty much out the door now. Pretty much. I mean, you can say and that's I mean, on regular TV. Yeah, that's on regular TV. That's couldn't not on cable TV like <laughs> HBO or anything it's like regular that. Regular TV. But, <laughs> wow. you know, it, it's gotten a l- more mature in a lot of different ways, right? And uh, which wouldn't be even allowed on TV before. Think about this. Janet Jackson got in trouble or a big thing with Justin Timberlake because of a wardrobe malfunction and her boob showed with a cover on it. Think about how natural that is today out there. You probably see that on TV all the time. 
I mean, they might black out the nipple or something like that, but they leave the skin. So I mean, it's just it's so that's really like where I come into play, right? Yeah. So for me, and I am not definitely not on social media all the time because I'm really busy, right? So I might go on there twice a week. I put a post, and then I am off for the rest of the week. Yes. So that's just how I do it. However. <laughs> I am a little bit more old school, right? And in Korea, I am only 35, okay? I'm going to be 35 forever, by the way. Don't, I don't age past this, this, this age here. 35 is it. Um, but, 35 you know, past expiration date. <laughs> I don't have an expiration date. <laughs> I have the, what's the, what's the thing that, that preserves you that they got at the McDonald's now? Man, I don't want no preservatives <laughs> in my, no, that's even worse. But listen, so I'm still pretty old school, right? So regardless, if, if you have a profile, per se and you are doing like provocative things or you have provocative things on there and you know it's there's a difference between being like a classy sleek provocative versus you're just naked provocative there that there's really i mean we're on abc so i can't even really use the exact verbiage that i'd like to use for these two scenarios but I'm still old school, so you know, and I'm I'm still the person like I'm a, I'm a female, and yes, I'm pull the woman empowerment out. So I'm a female, and I I deserve respect. However, if you want respect, you should probably respect yourself because you can't expect someone to respect you. It's almost like you know putting on a short little tiny mini dress and this low cut you know thing with whatever hanging out, and then you go to uh, the bar, right? And then you walk past a couple group of guys, and the guys whistle at you and start making all these little noises like little chipmunks right so when this happens you have to understand that you've put yourself in this predicament because you've dressed that way right now this might still happen if you're wearing sweatpants with a ponytail and you're like okay you're just now you guys are just being like obviously ridiculous but you know that's my perception on things like that and that's what we're talking about like different perceptions because John might look at something and be like, well, and then I might look at it and be like, ew. So, you know, it's just, I guess, you know, it's, you get to, I, you and I can't change, I cannot change how John thinks, you know, and John most certainly cannot yeah. change how I think. Yeah. However, we do have to respect how we, each other thinks, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to be able to live with that. Then you have to compromise. If, if you can live with that, right? Because there's certain things Some that people... Some things you won't be able to live with. They won't, they won't be able to do. Some I, things will be intolerable. You know, it's the things... No, you no, no, no. What's that thing called? Uh, no, no, no OnlyFans. Yeah. No reason for OnlyFans. There, there's no fan... John doesn't need any fans. He doesn't need to watch fans. <laughs> he doesn't need fans. We're, we're good there. So... <laughs> that's just how I feel about it, right? I know no one would want to be married to me. I love John oh unconditionally. And he obviously loves me yes, unconditionally. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, uh, listen, everybody has a different perspective on things, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, sometimes you're going to have to just, you're, you're either going to have to come to a compromise, sometimes you have to c agree to disagree, and it just is what it is, you know? And sometimes you might be able to convince your partner when you talk to them about whatever it is, maybe it's how you grew up. Like I, I grew up, I, I wasn't able to do certain things. I wasn't even able to put on makeup on my face until I was 15 years old, yeah. 15 years old. Yeah. So yeah, I grew up in a strict household to some degree. So I'm still a little conservative, I think. Well, that's fine. I, listen, I'm conservative too. Mm -hmm. I, I like the 1950s style approach. I've always said that old school in that light. Um, you know, it just, He's accepting 2022. You can't live in an old school life. You got to adapt or you die. I mean, I'm, that I'm is what it is, you know. Die, so, you know, oh, you're not going to die. I mean, listen, <laughs> you can have these certain. You can have, listen. This is all about having your own perspective, exactly, and, and, and your thoughts about things, and that's what makes our country so great and the way we are. But at that point, you know, some people it is what it is, and like she said, you might have to agree to disagree, or you have to compromise on things. And if you can't do that, then you know, you guys are going to be sticking each other with this left yeah. and right. Yeah. It's just it's it's going to be sitting there by the wayside, and it's like an unhealed wound, right? When you can throw some salt back into it, yeah. it's going to hurt just as bad as it originally did. Yeah. So you know you got to make sure you make an effort to do this. The other thing that I see out there is you know, listen, what I would do or date or back then, you know, is a lot different today, <laughs> right? Um, but you know, some people go after something that they like, they go after it, they want it so bad, and that person is doing something that they don't like, right? And they think, when I get with this person, I'm gonna change them. Mm. It's hard to change people. 
people are hard to change. You ever hear like a leopard can't Especially change its spots? Especially if they don't want to change. Really, like they're stuck there. So, you yeah. know, it, it's it, it's false hopes, I guess, to a certain extent, yeah. if, if you do need something like that. Or you got to respect it. And that's, right. you know, that's just something that you're going to have to live with and you can't bring up and start throwing back in their face. It's kind of like a situation, and we won't say any names, but we had a, we have a really good friend of ours, yeah. and he decided that he wanted to get with a stripper. Yeah. Um, and she that's what she does. For a li- she yeah. does that for a living, right? She's a right? dancer, yeah. A dancer on yeah. a pole. So yeah, that's there. a stripper. Um, but, <laughs> so, but he got with her, and I don't know if he thought that maybe when he got with her, like, because he's... He likes to control certain you know situations, yeah. but he, I don't know if maybe he thought when he got with her that he could change her, yeah. and then she got with him because he you know he got likes to party and go out and have fun, and she got with him thinking she was gonna be able to change him yeah. into not going out and doing whatever it is that he does yeah. like party and club or alcohol whatever. Oh, yeah. So, but that didn't happen. They got together. It was like you know peaches and cream for like. I don't know, maybe six months. Honeymoon period. Honeymoon period. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, wait, are you going to change? No. Are you going to change? No. Well, we got to come to some sort of agreement. The agreement is we're done. We're not changing and we're going our partner ways. So, yeah. And that was what was best for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know? But yeah. Um, it's, it's something that we look at here. And some people, as we get older and older, you don't want to waste time either. Mm-hmm. You know, And things time can be precious. fun for a short period of time but it might not be your long-term investment of what you mm-hmm. want to do with your life and your valuable time because time is very valuable. We mm-hmm. talk about that too as well. So, you know, just just be open to things. Don't let things, I guess, come up your mind. Respect people's boundaries and what they're doing. And at that point, respect yourself. That's yeah. the biggest thing out there. You got to have respect for yourself. And, you and I get it, guys. I understand. It's 2022. Everybody's on this little Instagram, TikTok, or whatever it's called. And they're all wearing bikinis and they've all done their fair share because I've met them in person. And I'm like, are you this? I will pull out my phone. I'm like, this does not look like you at all. I'm like, so confused but you know there's all these filters so you guys gotta remember like there's a reality out there right and just because you see it online like that doesn't make it reality all the time so don't always think everything is like so perfect and people look so perfect and their skin is so perfect and everything is perfect it's not like that the the amount of filters that they have out there but between videos and pictures and whatever else kind of filters it's crazy what they can do yep so just don't compare yourself to that and really, really, truly just respect yourself. Respect yourself, respect your partner, yeah. and respect your loved ones. That's yes. what it's all about. Set those boundaries. So it's been a great Cupid's Corner with you guys. We'll be here every Sunday for you guys on ABC at 11 a.m. Make sure you guys DVR it. If you don't do that, go over to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, the all notification bell. Ding. You can see this awesome show and a lot more cool content from Titan Medical Center. And if you guys are interested in our therapies, you want to feel good, look good, perform better, you guys can always call or text us at 727-389-3220. Check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, and see all the different therapies and how we can help you. So I appreciate you guys. We'll be back next Sunday for Cupid's Corner. See you then. That's our bell. Yeah, that works.